Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and Pangu has finally been updated. So it's now headache free. From point A to point B, this is a simple process jailbreaking your device. So in this video, I'll be showing you the newest and updated guide on how to jailbreak your device untethered on iOS 8.1, 8.0.2, and 8.0. Now this does work on the iPhone 6 Plus, 6, 5S, 5C, 4S, all of the iPads that do support iOS 8, as well as the iPod Touch 5th generation. Now I gotta tell you, this is so solid. I mean, I didn't encounter a single issue and it literally takes like five minutes. So in this video, I'm gonna show you from point A to point B how to jailbreak and get your device running the latest version of Cydia on iOS 8.1. Now, first off, there are a couple things I do wanna discuss, you know, just preliminary before the jailbreak. First off, why jailbreak? Well, for many people, there's different purposes for jailbreaking. For someone, they might wanna get free tethering. You know, Verizon does charge a $20 fee for tethering your device while you can do it on Cydia for free, and it's really cool. You can install themes, you can customize your device in almost any way possible. The possibilities are endless and constantly growing with new developers releasing stuff. For example, this really cool concept, iWatch concept on the iPhone. So it pretty much gives you the interface of the Apple Watch on your device. And there is a fully functional one too that can actually launch all of your applications. Really cool stuff. So this is definitely a must have and there's so much you can do, I mean so much. And at the end of this video, you'll see some links to the videos where I show you many different tweaks on iOS 8, what you can do after the jailbreak, it's really cool. There's literally so much you can do, I can't even put all of it into one video. But jailbreaking basically opens up your device to a world of customization and all sorts of things. So besides that, is it stable? Absolutely. I mean, with every update, we're getting more and more stable. Cydia has just been updated today in Mobile Substrate, so we're gonna see a lot of improvement. You won't see any crashing. And over time, developers are updating all of their tweaks to support the latest version, so you're gonna be good on that as well. Anyways, is it illegal? Absolutely not. Protected by the DMCA Act and does it void your warranty? Unfortunately, while your device is jailbroken, it will void it. However, it's super easy to unjailbreak your device. I'll be showing you that very soon. Just restore it in iTunes and Apple will never be able to detect that your device was jailbroken. Is it simple to do? Absolutely. Like I said, it takes maximum of five minutes. Really simple. So let's go ahead and begin. Now I'm gonna be jailbreaking my iPhone 6 Plus. So it really doesn't matter, but but the one thing I'm gonna tell you guys is you should update to iOS 8.1. So if you go into settings, you go into general, about, and in here, if you're not on 8.1, then you wanna connect your device to iTunes through your computer and update. Do not update through here. It's gonna create issues with the Pangu jailbreak. So once you're on 8.1, updated via iTunes with the computer, let's go ahead and begin. Now this latest version of the jailbreak is really streamlined. It's a lot faster, definitely. You don't have to mess around with SSH, and I know a lot of people were getting confused with that, but it's super simple now, and it includes the latest version of the Pangu on Tether, which makes your device so much more stable running this jailbreak. Anyways, I'm just gonna ask you to download one thing, and that's Pangu version 1.0.1. All links can be found down below in the description, so go ahead and grab it there, and there's a full guide there as well with troubleshooting, just in case I don't mention anything here. Anyways, so your device needs to be plugged in, obviously. You do need to have iTunes installed. You know, trust this computer. And actually, on your device, before we begin this jailbreak, you wanna make sure several things are done. So first off, in settings, go into Touch ID and Passcode and remove any passcode, any Touch ID lock you have here. It will interfere with the jailbreak. Also, iCloud, sign out of iCloud and remove Find My iPhone. So that absolutely needs to be done, otherwise it will interfere and it could cause problems, but you can of course enable both of those after the jailbreak is done. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and right click on this guy, run as administrator, select yes, and you absolutely do need to run as administrator. And one last thing is this does not work with Macs yet. I will make a video when it is compatible with Mac, but for now we're still stuck with Windows. Anyways, deselect this guy. This is just a app store, you know, Chinese pirating app store. It's really crappy and not to mention illegal. So deselect that. Otherwise we are ready to begin. So go ahead and select this guy. And in case this button is gray, you can still click on it in most cases. However, if it's not blue, restart your computer or try this on another computer. That usually fixes any problems you might have. And a couple disclaimers during this jailbreak, your device might restart. You'll notice uh, it goes into the activation menu, so that's okay, it's normal. And uh, once the blue bar completes, you can close out of this, but I'm just gonna leave this right here. 
And in a moment here, our device will be restarting and we won't have Cydia yet. That's a separate, separate little process, but it's so much simpler than before. You don't need to go into your device with SSH and mess around inside. It's, it's been streamlined so much. And I really thank the Pangu jailbreak team. None of us were expecting an iOS 8 jailbreak. It just literally came out of the blue. And I honestly didn't think we'd see one for a very long time, not to mention on the latest iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, but it's a miracle. They're still finding exploits and I'm not sure which exploit it uses. Is it using the leaked one? I don't know, but you know, I'm thankful to have a jailbreak and I'm really excited to see what all the developers are gonna release, all the cool little tweaks. And I made videos already. I'll be releasing another top 10 tweaks very soon because the support for iOS 8 is growing very rapidly. And anyways, if iTunes pops up, just close out of it, no big deal. So my iPhone is starting up here. There we go. So go ahead and get into the springboard and you'll see a Pangu icon. Cool, that means everything worked just fine. Now, if you don't see that icon, try it on a different computer. That works nine out of 10 times. We'll restart your computer and make sure you do run the program as an administrator. That's pretty much the biggest thing. Anyways, open up that guy and uh, I do need to be connected to Wi-Fi. Oops, I'll set that up, I'll be right back. And once you're inside, as you guys can see, not much in here, go ahead and click install. And cool, we are pretty much almost done and you'll have Cydia as soon as this finishes. So we're gonna respring our device. And I've had a lot of people ask me, does jailbreaking make your device slower? And the truth is no. I mean, unless you're installing like 10 to 20 tweaks that are working simultaneously, crossing over each other, that could create an issue, but most of jailbreak tweaks are pretty stable. And just in case there is a safe mode with this jailbreak, which pretty much de-enables all the tweaks and lets you uninstall it just in case something does go wrong. And also this latest version does fix the passcode boot loop many people were having where they had a passcode, they'd restart their device and it would never turn on. So there are so many cool things about this guy. Anyways, when you open it up, it'll prepare the file system for a bit. This will take about five minutes and it will restart your device. And I'll be right back once it's done. All right, so the respring has completed. And once you go onto the springboard, we now have Cydia right here. So I personally haven't encountered any issues. As you guys can see, you have this big disclaimer that basically says Cydia is still not compatible with a lot of jailbreak tweaks, but that is being fixed very quickly. I mean, a lot of developers are working very hard on iOS 8 to get all of their tweaks up and running, and I'll be posting a lot of them. I mean, it's fascinating what you can do on this closed device once you jailbreak it. You can literally open up to so many things, and I love it. And like I showed you in many of my other videos, there's so much already that's available with more coming. Anyways, guys, that's the iOS 8 jailbreak. Unexpected, but totally cool. Now, one thing you guys should do is open up Cydia, go into changes and hit the refresh button. And there will be a couple of mandatory updates in here. So to Cydia and Cydia Substrate. So you wanna go ahead and uh, upgrade both of them and confirm and it will reboot your device at the end. And over the course of the next week or so, I'm gonna be releasing a lot of stuff, like free tethering, a lot of the top tweaks, and if Winterboard ever gets updated for iOS 8, I'm gonna show you guys how to get really cool themes on iOS 8, and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot, because in the past, man, I've been impressed with some of the stuff that people come up with, and really, Apple takes a lot from jailbreaking. I mean, this thing existed in a different form in a, you know, a jailbreak tweak before Apple actually implemented it into iOS 8. Apple likes to do that. I mean, they never will admit that they take stuff from jailbreaks, but the reality is that Apple does take stuff from jailbreaks that they see useful. That's why, I mean, jailbreaking is kind of useful to Apple. It's not illegal, so a lot of people take mm -hmm. advantage of that and create really cool stuff. And like I mentioned before, it's really simple. If you ever wanna get rid of the jailbreak, there's two ways you can do it. One from within the city application, but it doesn't remove it fully. It just removes the application and the tweaks. Two is by restoring your device in iTunes, and that is a permanent delete of the jailbreak. Apple will never know you jailbroke your device again. Unlike Android, which is really tricky to see and hide that you've rooted your device, jailbreaking can easily be removed and your warranty will be restored just as soon as you restore it in iTunes. And just a couple last things, Pangu will be updated tomorrow to support all Mac systems, so I will be posting a video for that. And what do you do after you jailbreak? Well, click on one of the videos down below to see all of the tweaks that are supported in iOS 8 that you can install now. 
and I'll be releasing another one of those videos very soon. I'm really excited to see what'll come in iOS 8. Anyways, guys, so that's just about it. You are now jailbroken with this super fast method on iOS 8 on any device. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope your device is freed and jailbroken. Enjoy all the tweaks and Cydia on iOS 8.